things. Oh my. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are finally back on our 2019 Lamborghini Urus. And no, we didn't get our wrap in, but you know what? We got some other news for you guys. We actually got some practice wrap right here. And what you see is some red wrap that we actually attempted for the very first time on our Hellcat where we kind of miserably failed. But you know what? We're gonna do some more practice. I think this is the perfect opportunity to hit some of these harder panels like that bumper right there and maybe that hood. And this actually might look pretty sick on that Urus right dude, there. Dude. It might, dude. That red might, might be the color, dude. dude you never I'm know. I'm telling you. And you know what? We got some other like extra equipment. We got some heat lamps. We got all like the cutting utensils. We got the nice little ivory gloves. And we are actually planning on bringing in a professional but i guess we could just practice a little bit and maybe this might be our color you dude. never know i think we got a few rolls of this thing i mean that's all we got that may be enough for a couple panels maybe the hood and the bumper dude who knows who dude? knows but the other stuff the main stuff that we ordered for this is actually it got stuck in some sort of fedex hub and it's just stuck there so we ended up actually having to overnight some more and i think it's going to be in tomorrow and they're going to refund us for the other stuff but you know what this is just what we got to do we just want to go ahead and keep on practicing then i think we're going to move on to some other things because we still can't get the key for this thing so the guy that's working on our key actually took it completely apart and it's just crazy what's going on on the inside of a lamborghini urus key the inside is fried of course but also the way that the key is built they pour like molten plastic into there and you can't really just like work on it if you wanted to, you know what I mean? So we're probably just gonna have to get a brand new key and get it reprogrammed. Exactly, so that should be, he actually got a brand new key and I think he's gonna program it, which is Surge from Vision Exotics. But anyways, let's go ahead, attempt to wrap and see how it turns out. there wow, dude wow that looks actually pretty good that red color right there but of course can't forget guys this is just practice and i gotta say for the very first panel which is probably one of the easiest panels right yeah, the hood is probably pretty one good. of the easiest i mean you do have to just learn how to bend these corners because as you guys know i mean people that have wrapped before corners are always the first thing that starts peeling up and stuff like that so you know we're just learning as we go good i'm actually glad that we started doing this because now next time around we'll know exactly how to do the corners a little bit better but for the most part dude i'm pretty happy with the results dude, dude. love it this right here is just perfect of course of course, there's a few little mistakes that we made that are not visible. They're underneath the hood. But of course, like Dude. you were saying, for the corners, what we should have done is actually left a flap, like a square. That way you could pull, heat it, pull it on there real nice yeah, and tight. Yeah, basically like heat shrink wrapping it underneath and stuff like that. So we're watching a couple of videos as we go. But for the most part, this this hood right here could slide right here. I mean, this yes. is good. This is perfect. It looks amazing. I can only imagine what this car would actually look like. All, all red? red matte. Dude, that would look pretty what? dang killer, dude. Dude, that would be insane i love all the body lines that you see right now with the white honestly you couldn't really pick up on those body no, lines you can't at all with the white but with this red especially the satin red it kind of like gives you a little bit like more aggressive body line look exactly dude. hey but i did get an update from the wrap and i think it should be in tomorrow early morning dude so we're gonna have to unwrap this here really unless soon you wanna, unless you want to go with this color right here i don't dude. know honestly the red is all right it's kind of like a basic color doesn't look bad at all but i guess the more that we throw on it maybe it'll convince Dude, me you if know we what can mean? wrap that front bumper right there i think that'll really uh let you know if you want that color or not but 
I think we should try. If we can wrap that thing, we can wrap anything. Dude, dude, I'm telling you, the bumpers are usually the most difficult because of like how intricate it is and like just how thin and flimsy the bottom section is and, and all that this stuff. This one is super aggressive. I mean, super pointy edges, super sharp contour edges like this. You see how it goes super deep in there. So that's gonna be like the most tricky part, but you know what? It doesn't hurt. Let's just go ahead and attempt the wrap that we got right here and see if we can get that front bumper. pretty good dude it looks pretty dang good that is what i'm talking about right there man but you know what look outside look how dark it is man it's dark man that front bumper man that was a tough one right there that dude was, but it looks so good bumper is definitely probably going to be the hardest panel to actually wrap on this whole entire car so that was really good practice we already figured out like five different tips on how to make th make it a lot better the next time yeah 100 you know I mean? but dude that was pretty fun but it is the like it's super intricate we had to bend a bunch of stuff you know we had to use the heat gun the heat lamp and a bunch of cutting and stuff like that but dude wow. to actually see it like this i mean it looks pretty sick dude that's like a matte red right there it would have looked pretty good on the hellcat where we attempted it but i think the problem was we were wrapping in the middle of summer and outside in yeah. the sun you know outside what I mean? in the sun everything was overheating and like shrinking and it was a black car so it was like super hot as soon as you put it on so that's kind of suckish right there but for here dude it's nice and cool right now it went down pretty good i mean we got the edges pretty good there's a little few areas that were super sharp i guess only a professional can wrap it up in there unless we practice a little bit better we you know? might we're gonna attempt it definitely one more time when that wrap comes in tomorrow in the morning and of course we're gonna pop out the sensors as well that's one thing that we realized that we need to do to make it look like you know seamless like it's a professional wrap job pop out those sensors and wrap them separately everything else is pretty dang good i guess one thing that we can work on as well is maybe like trash behind the wrap yes yeah trash definitely i mean we, we get we got we get a little bit of trash here and there i mean as you can tell but you know what we're using those old stands and we're learning dude, dude. <laughs> but overall man i am super happy with how everything went and i love how it is looking right now but i guess we're gonna attempt it with our official color tomorrow dude tomorrow in the morning
goodness, dude. Now that's a color right there. That is what dude. I'm talking about. It is the next day here, guys, and guess what finally arrived, man? Dude, our wrap with the wrap that was lost, dude. That's right. We got <laughs> both of the rolls right here, but you know what? That gives us plenty of room to just practice some more, which, look at this. You dude. basically practiced right here, but also you attempted to give it your all, and it turned out amazing, Probably the man. best wrap ever on any part. We even were able to wrap all the way in here, all the way around. I mean, this thing looks like it's been painted, and it's all because of that wrap. It's a whole different brand. I forgot, it's like a, whatever brand it is, it is nice. It's super light, it's super thin, and it flexes super easy. Yep, that red stuff is called like an Avery Denison. This right here is called, um, a KPMF or something like that, and it is much thinner, so you were able to work all these corners, all these edges, and everything in the color. Honestly, dude, this looks way cooler than that, personally, dude. dude. Red, every there's all types of red cars out there, but dude, this right here is unique and it's flat, it's not high gloss, yep. so it's gonna give it that nice little sheen whenever you see this thing cruising. And with the black accents like this, dude, dude this thing is gonna look aggressive, dude, dude. So happy to show you guys the official color. Let's go ahead and kind of place it close to that, uh, I guess, where it's gonna sit, and then we're gonna take it outside to show you guys exactly what it looks like outside. Wow, dude. That looks good. It's almost like a, it's called a desert sand or something like that. Dude, that looks so good looks right there. Really good. I mean, the whole car wrapped like that is definitely going to stand out. I mean, that's just a beautiful color, dude. Yeah, I think the red is a little bit tacky. I mean, it would have looked good, of course. It's too much, dude. It is a little bit too much. You kind of want something that, oh, ooh, that almost popped off. Kind of want something that's subtle, and I think that's the perfect color for an exotic car right there, dude. A hundred percent. It's different, unique. I mean, there's probably, there may be a few people that have this color on their Euros, but dude, this just looks good. I mean, it just looks so good. Even wow, in the light, look at that. Dude, that looks it amazing. Looks better dude. out here. It almost looks more, even more matte. Dude. I might wrap the TRX this color, hey, dude. We got, dude, that's not a bad idea. That'll look good, dude. We might have to wrap everything in this color. <laughs> Let us know what you guys think about that. But also, we had another package that arrived for the Euros as well from 10. 16, 16 industries, industries dude. dude this right here is the front and rear of diffuse diffuser and front lip for this urus and this right here against this color right here is going to be on point dude of course it's carbon fiber dude it's going to look so good so i guess the question is right now should we go ahead and unwrap the red and reattempt that front bumper one more time because there was a few issues let's go show them the issues yeah, that we're having the with next it, dude. morning i mean everything kind of started just uh happening i mean i don't know why i guess overnight stuff started unwrapping right here and right there and just a few other areas mainly right here i don't know why maybe because we cut right on this crease i didn't really want to cut too much or have an overhang because i know the uh, actual grill snaps into right there and it'll be kind of difficult to snap it in so it's kind of a hard decision to make right here hey dude. but you know what i am in contact with a professional rapper he wants to come out here but he actually can't make it out this week so he's going to probably come out to assist us but he is giving us a bunch of tips you know yeah, what i mean 100 and like we don't know what's this stuff you see that underneath the wraps like a bunch of little speckles i don't know if that's inside the paint or something on the paint that we didn't catch or that may be just some random dust but it is weird it literally is only on the line of this hood right here so there's probably definitely something on the paint right yeah so there. when we unwrap it we're definitely going to find out and the professional wrapper also told us that we do need to actually overlap it and kind of just over like basically wrap Overhand around it. that edge pretty yeah, much you know sure. what i mean but i don't know maybe we should leave this on for now and just continue you, or we can go ahead and bring the gray doors in here, dude. Bring the doors in and just start wrapping the doors, dude. dude. Let's do that, man. Let's do it.
this beast out, guys. Look at what came in right here, the stand to our heat lamp right here. And they kind of came in separate, so it's kind of weird. But dude, it was worth the wait. Look at this beast, man. Look at this control panel right here. And of course, you got a bunch of settings. And how do you even turn this sucker on? It's too I, futuristic. I think you just like press this one button right here and it'll cut them all on. You can set each temperature. You can, it even has a heat sensor in there. It opens, I mean, it rises and, and lowers twist either way you want i mean this is going to be perfect for the wrap wrapping the roof hood anything i mean even curing paint dude, dude. this thing is a beast dude Tilt and telescopic right here this is definitely going to come in handy for what we're about to do because we're actually going to move on to the next thing because look at what we got accomplished right here we got both the doors completely wrapped and i gotta say they are turning out perfectly i thought we were going to run into a lot of issues but dude everything is going so smooth we even got it wrapped around this edge perfectly. We even got some of the jams wrapped, but of course we're still gonna wrap the jams separately. But for the most part, dude, it is just looking really good in there. This right here is gonna probably get cut off and we're just gonna wrap it in a strategic way. You know Yeah, what I mean? make it super nice. But for the most part, dude, um, we never wrapped like this before. So I think it's dude. the best. I mean, it looks super good on the inside and outside. It and does. I mean, just look at that, man. That's amazing. This color, dude, this color looks so good. And all sorts of lighting, of course, we just kind of got the fender just mocked up over here all this stuff is actually about to come off because we're going to wrap the next most difficult piece which is going to be this quarter panel and the way that we're going to wrap this quarter panel is going to be with the jams and all if all goes as planned because you know we want it to be like seamless basically going into there and if it doesn't go so smooth i think what we can do is just cut it right here and just start over like you know start a fresh piece into those jams yeah not to. a big deal that's kind of how they do it but we are going to just try to wrap it without the doors and all in one go that way it just looks way better and looks cleaner but for the most part this is probably going to be dude, the biggest challenge this dude. is going to be a tough one but you know what i think with the tools that we got in this wrap right here that's very easy to work with i think it's going to go smooth and of course we actually have to throw some knifeless tape right here because this roof is going black so that's exactly what we're going to do throw some knifeless tape wrap it and then we're going to throw the black wrap on the roof and then you just pretty much engage the knifeless tape and you cut those uh, pieces all together, those two wrap pieces, it's gonna be nice and just seamless, man. Dude, yes, sir. I mean, it's it, uh, so far dude. it's looking good. Now our next step is to try to basically get this whole entire side wrap, dude, dude. Let's go ahead, crank up all the heat lamps, bring in some wrap and hopefully get this knocked out. So a change of plans, we actually couldn't pull this off right here, wrapping that jam and this quarter panel all at once because it was way too difficult because once you start stretching it this way, you get a bunch of like extra wrap and it's just not gonna work out. I don't think anybody really does it that way or maybe the professionals actually do it, but we just were not able to get it. But you know what? It's still gonna look professional because you know we're gonna make it just a nice like butt up right there and it's just gonna look good, dude. 100%, I mean, this is just how they do it right here. And then the inside would be super simple to actually yep. do it uh, smaller pieces. That way you can stretch it a little yes. bit better but for dude, sure. That looks good right there. We got the quarter panel and this whole entire pillar. And of course we actually had a change of plans on this knifeless tape as well. We figured out that's not gonna work as well because there would have been like one wrap left behind or under another wrap. So we got that knifeless tape. Look at that clean line right there, dude. That looks so good. We're gonna dude, do the exact same thing with the black wrap. That thing cuts perfectly, dude. It cuts dude. perfect, dude. But super happy with how everything is going so far. I guess that's gonna be pretty much a wrap for today's video. I think in the next one, we're definitely gonna have this whole entire car wrap this nice desert storm color right here. But you guys are gonna have to stay tuned. Drop all your comments and thoughts down below. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace.